Hello friends, I am Professor Vidyadarsh Sagar. I am here for the lecture number 6 for chapter introduction to the automation. So let's start the today's lecture. Today's topic is automated flow line related to the elements of the part delivery system. The elements of the part delivery system is very important topic as far as this particular unit is concerned. In part delivery system there are different types of components are there. It is a hardware system which delivers the components to the hard work head in an automated assembly system typically consists of the flow elements. First is the automatic first component of the first element of the part delivery system is the raw material or part storage system that we call it as a hopper. From the hopper that material get regulatingly passes towards the feed track is the part property oriented or back into the hub. orienter is fitted over there or the regulator is fitted over there for passing orienter and selectors are fitted to regulate and orient the position of the work part towards the feed track feed track is the automated flow line equipment elements which passes the material from selector orienter to towards the placement devices where the placement devices passes the material to escapement devices and at escapement devices it passes the material to the auto so the workhead and the workhead can perform the operation on the part so one by one we're going to see as you can see on the diagram see the each element of the part delivery system first is a hopper it is the container into which a component are loaded into the workstation at a huge quantity these hoppers are used for storing the material for a longer period of time when the material we required we can be remove it with the help of reclaimers and so and it get passes towards the selectors and part feeders then the components are are usually loaded into the hopper in bulk this means that the parts are randomly oriented initially in the hopper then the initially oriented or randomly oriented parts get passes through the part feeder the part feeder is used to feed the particular required quantity of the component or the material at selectors and the orienter this is the mechanism that removes the component from the hopper one at time for the delivery of the assembly workstation the hopper and part feeder are often combined into the operating mechanism as you can see in the diagram is shown in your screen then the selector and the orienter the selector and the orienter is functioning is to select the correct part and remove the part which is having the errors or the defective parts this element of the delivery system establish the proper orientation of the component for the assembly workstation a selector is a device that act as a filter which removes the defective parts out of the automated flow line then permit only the part that are in correct orientation and passes towards the assembly workstation or the processing workstation the component that are proper, properly oriented are rejected back to the hopper and orienter is a device that allow proper orientation of the pan and passes to so providing a reorientation component that not properly in orientation initially the orientation is required for the assembly and packaging purposes mostly in manufacturing industry in automated flow line then the next element is the feed track feed track is ultimately a material handling equipment a feed track is used to transport the component from hopper to the part feeder or to locate the assembly workstation maintaining the proper orientation of that we call it as a conveyor so moving the part from the uh, selector orienters part feeders towards the escapement and placement devices and escapement and placement devices places the devices at the workstation or the assembly workstation there are two types of the feed tracks first is a gravity feed tracks and the powered feed tracks the gravity feed tracks comes under the shoots these shoots are inclined from the higher position to the lower position where we can the place the component from the higher position it gets slides towards the downwards with the help of gravity the force of the gravity used to deliver the component to the workhead then the powered is a vibratory action or air pressure or other mean 
we can travel or to move the material from one workstation to another pack section or from one element to other element for the assembly workhead or the processing workhead these are the some example of the escape plan and placement devices where you can escape the material this is a rotary indexing table here we can see at the first type of their horizontal delivery system which delivers the parts in a rotary type of indexing tables and they fix the parts where it required the assembly then the next part in which the spring blade escapement device which escaping the parts with the help of spring device and place in a work carrier where it moves towards the next processing workstation then in a packaging rotary indexing table packet in which the parts are moving vertical delivery system from down up to down and feed track is moving from one slot to another slot next type of delivery uh, escapement and placement system in which a robot hand or uh, arm is used the pack and pack unit in which a feeder is used to move continuously in the arm and the arm is moving the work from form feeder to the work carrier then the next type in which a rotary type of arm is used to move the work prop from from the peak end of the place unit to the work carrier as you can see on your screen there are different type of shoots basically these shoots are we called as a gravity conveyors the gravity conveyors can move the material gravity or the powered conveyors the straight line shoots the straight line shoots are the gravity conveyors then roller shoots roller shoots also the gravity conveyors where we can place the material from the top of the workplace and it automatically slide with the help of gravity forces to the downward workstations then spiral shoots also comes under the category of the gravity conveyors then spiral roller shoots also comes under that particular category a vertical open core shoots also comes under the particular category zigzag or cantilever shoots ladder shoot retarding type and power shoots are comes under the power category of the conveyor where the powered elements are used to move the material from one workstation to another workstation chain con control shoots all we call this a bucket conveyor is used to move the material from bottom to top is comes under the category then automated flow line automated flow line control study to control operate operation of automatic transfer system sequence control safety monitoring quality monitoring automated flow line we need to be observed that the sequence should have to be follow of the operation of each equipment of automated flow line like hopper feeders then selectors orienters feed tracks escapement and placement devices so sequence should have to be maintained as first of all we need to be start the escapement and placement device then the feed track and after the starting of the feed track the orienters and selectors we need to be start after the orienters and select does get start the part feeders need to be start to remove the material as the continuous and smooth flow of the material can be happen then the safety monitoring should have to be without the safety monitoring you cannot achieve the efficient or uh, effective moment or effective processing of automated flow line then quality monitoring the quality moment of the product or the required Uh, at the required time is very important then it required the instantaneous control and the memory control so memory control is to maintain the data in sequence control the purpose of this function is to coordinate the sequence of the action of the transfer system and its workstation the various activities of the automated flow line must be carried out in split or second time accuracy in safety monitoring the function ensure that the transfer system does not operate in unsafe on hazardous condition sensing devices fitted over there for observing the safety monitoring other checks might include monitoring certain critical steps or sequence control functions to make sure that the step have all been performed and the correct order then the quality monitoring the third control function is to monitor the certain quality and attribute to the work part it purpose to identify the purpose of reject defect parts 
and inspect the device required to perform quality monitoring for the sometimes incorporate into existing processing workstation separate substation including as shown in your diagram then there are alternative control strategies instantaneous control and memory control instantaneous control in this our mode control stop the operation of the flow line immediately when certain defects is occur and relatively simple in expensive or trouble free operations can be op process then diagnosis of the operation quickly has to be made then stopping the machine result a loss of the production entire line in system is a bigger drawback right then the memory control in the control of the instantaneous control the memory system is designed to keep the machine operating it works to control the quality and project machines for preventing the sequence of the workstation the flow line will continue to operate with the sequence of the bad part will be continued produced then the assembly systems the assembly system involve the joining together of two or more separate parts from one new entity called as a assembly or sub assembly systems right so the mechanical fasteners are important for holding the components together threading fasteners screw bolts nuts rivets crimping and other methods press fits now there are some various methods for using industry accomplish the assembly processes major method are classified as a manual single workstation manual assembly line automated assembly line and manual single stations so manual assembly line in which a humans are involving all or uh, interfering for assembly workstations introduce among the assembly required use modular design reduce of the fastener requires reduce number of components handle limiting the number of necessary motions reduce the type of automated flow line continuous transfer system or synchronous transfer system stationary based system and classification based on physical configuration dial type assembly machines inline assembly machine and carousel assembly machines so these are the various types of the inline assembly machines and dial type of assembly machines so that's all about the today's lecture thank you very much